Hey everyone, um, I mean, you read the title, you know, you you know what this is about, and that's kind of why that's kind of why I'm feeling like a little bit, a little bit down, because. The truth is, is that as much as I talk about, like, everything that's wrong with humanity, I do believe that there's something about humanity other than in, like, I guess it's our potential that amazes me so much. And what angers me so much about humanity is how much it wastes that potential fulfilling selfish needs selfish wants not needs selfish wants you know cravings indulging sacrificing other people other people's situations for our own um for our own sake you know and <sighs> this generation is not only being destroyed because of what corporate companies push out and what com corporate companies are doing to our, from the environment all the way down to how we eat our food, right? And this generation is also destroying itself. Because it has information. This is like, the thing is, the, the thing that angers me the most is that, like, we, it's not just the fault of corporate companies, right? Because sure, they're bad people for, like, peddling all the stuff that's bad for us and, like, trying to get us to consume it. But we're also at fault because we're the consumers and we're not smart enough to see that we're being taken advantage of. And this is especially apparent in Generation Z, where... We are the, the smartest bullshit. We have... There's still just as many sheep as there were before, right? Actually, no, it's a lie. That's a lie. But what I'm trying to say is that as, as much as, like, everyone wants to believe that, oh, the, the future's in the hands of, of the next generation, this generation is not that impressive. This generation has the most people with... Attention Deficit Disorder, ADD, and ADHD. Not because of an actual, like, mental issue, but it's, like, it's, how, how do I say this? It's self, like, it's caused by themselves because of how much time we spend on our phones, how much time we spend on technology, how much time we spend eating foods that are high in sugar, that are instant gratification, how much time we spend, um not really doing anything you know all, a lot of the, this generation has the most obese children and fat children than ever before and we are okay with this we say oh body positivity don't body shame people yet if you go to a high school a freshman in high school is weighing over 200 pounds at 5 8 that is not healthy that is not okay. We should not be accepting it. Should we be body shit? No, no, no. We shouldn't. We shouldn't make people feel lesser than, right? But what we should be doing is trying to improve our situation. We have. I mean, our attention span has gone down by like, the average attention span is like four or five seconds less than it was before. I think it was like eight to twelve seconds. Now it's like four to eight. We have the so many ignorant people who just, if you're not saying anything that instantly makes them happy, they don't want to hear it, right? Like, imagine imagine uh, talking to a 16-year-old, right, about what I'm saying right now. Do you think they'd be very reciprocative of that? No, they tell you to go fuck off and then play a video game because they don't have any, they don't want to do anything better with themselves. It's not like they can't. We, we still can, 
right? Granted, we can improve our diet. We can improve our sleep. We can improve so many things. We can develop so many good habits. But the the corporate companies who are producing the things that keep you addicted are wanting to keep you addicted because they want you to come back. And the people who are consuming it might know that it's bad for them. But then they do all this, like all these mental gymnastics, you know, uh, to, to justify why, why they're doing that thing, you know, like, oh, well, it, it's, it's just once in a while, fourth pop tart of the day, right? Oh, it's just an hour of video games. And they proceed to spend like five hours on video games. They should take the, ch they should have taken the chicken out of the freezer an hour ago and they still haven't done it. Oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll start going to the gym next week. Next week comes and they say the same thing. We have so many more procrastinators. Granted, I don't know what it's what it was like, but I'm speaking off of statistics, right? Statistics and personal experience with people who I've spoken to in my school who are of my age de demographic. And there are so many people who just procrastinate, make excuses, cope. Same thing, cope, make excuses, and don't want to improve. Not because they don't care about the result. Everybody would love to look more attractive, feel better when they wake up, eat better. The thing is, is that now, because we have no, no external threat, right? We can go to sleep peacefully knowing that a bear isn't going to rip us apart when we wake up. We don't have any, any actual concerns. We don't need to wonder, oh, how am I going to get food for the family? Just go to the supermarket, man. We don't have to, we have so many things that we don't have to worry about. We have so many comforts that now, of course, the average man is going to be weak. Of course, the average child is going to be weak. Not to mention the fact that our, like all the plastic, you, you might not know this. I'm actually going to link a video in the description that talks about this. And the plastic that is everywhere, by the way, the plastic that, that makes this phone, the plastic on this, the plastic uh, on my pen. Like, if I look around here, there's so many things that I have that even although are useful, are made of plastic. This computer monitor plastic, this uh, this thing up here, right, which I use for, um, for knuckle conditioning and, and grip conditioning, this is plastic. This flashlight up here, it goes on a beanie. This is plastic. Every, almost everything in here is plastic. There's so much, even like your own your own underwear is probably like poly, it's just like 100% polyester or something like that. All this decreases testosterone, decreases sperm count, decreased testosterone results in weaker men, which surprise, surprise, we have the weakest men of any previous generation we have no great depression we have no no war or at least no great war worth fighting for because we already know every we already know this country's shit it doesn't care about you we have no no purpose that's the main issue we have no purpose and so because we live in a purposeless generation where you wake up and you're just taught go to school get good grades, go to college, get a degree, find a job. And then once you've done that, have a family, buy a house. All good, right? When you follow this cookie cutter system that by the way, it doesn't work for the majority of people because unless you have like a very specific vision, college isn't really that worth going to. Imagine how purposeless so many people feel or so many kids feel waking up, going to school every day, knowing they don't really give a shit about that, wasting their time just hanging out with friends all day, smoking weed, masturbating, and then doing that the entire day, waking up the next day, feeling like shit, and then they, they blame it on, oh, it's, it's, it's the school's fault. No, it's not 
just the school's fault. I'm not going to say it's not the school's fault because sometimes it is, you know. But it's also because your life, your, your daily routine is fucking garbage. Okay, so that was a rant. That was kind of, yeah, that was, that was a rant about the unfortunate sadness of our generation. The fact that we don't really have, there's not many people who have, I mean, like we don't, this generation has the most amount of divorces ever. Obviously that like you could argue, oh, well, yeah. I mean, after the act saying that women could divorce their husbands happened after the 1960s. I think somewhere around that time period, but even then it's such a, every year it grows and it grows and it grows and our, along with, uh, you know, so many Netflix shows and so much pornography and so much sex, like over sexualization uh, of women, right? May like it distorts our, our reality of what love is like. So this generation, just to go over some of the things I've talked about, like I, this rant is almost over, I promise. Here are just some of the things that we have talked about. We've talked about lower testosterone, obesity, mental disorders, which are caused by the surrounding technology around us, um, higher divorce rates. What else? What else? What else did I literally just bring up? Oh, much more addicts. To not just drugs, but just to things in general. To social media especially. especially. The drug that is the most addictive is the one that nobody thinks is a drug. That's how you know That's how you know it's bad. When you tell someone, hey, maybe you should get off your phone for like an hour and stop being on YouTube all day. And they're like, what? No, it, it's just one more Curry Kitchen video. It's, it, it, it's only 50 minutes of my time. It's not that bad. And uh, what else? Social media, much more addictions. And then... What's the final one? I think I mentioned one more, didn't I? Oh, our distortion... Our distorted perception of love and what love is like. Right? Right? So those are six things that we covered just now in those past like 12 minutes that are all extremely common and extremely visible. And it, it, like, it's so easy to, to identify it, to identify the things I just said uh, in this generation. So now I'm going to talk about how we fix this. Well, the first thing that I'm going to mention, right, I'm going to have a whole video like going into depth about all these subjects i i'm estimating it's going to be like an hour long it's about modernization it's about in the industrial revolution industrialization same thing uh hold on let, let, let me rephrase that here's what it's about it's about industrialization okay corporate companies having as much power as they do Right, what what comp corporate companies are, what they do. How people act, right? Like on a on a on a majority scale. You know? Like just what the how how people act when they're presented with new information, when they're presented to with these comforts of uh, of the new age, you know? And stuff along that lines. And I'm going to be talking about... That That whole video is basically modernity, right? It's an in-depth explanation of what modernity is. What it looks like in our society. What specifically it looks like. And what we can do to get out of it. How we can, how we can save ourselves from it. Because as much as we want to say like, oh... Modern society has so many... You want to know what? I'll, I'll save it for the video. But... Point is... For this specific video... The, the solution that I'm going to give right now... Right? 
that I'm going to almost like the consen the consensus I'm going to give for people of my age demographic. What I'm telling you right now is day by day, month by month, year by year, stop consuming so much and start producing more and get away as far not it doesn't necessarily have to be physically right now because granted if you're if you're around my age like 15 16 around there you are not able to do that right you like you physically can't you financially you can't you can't do any of those things right now you most likely don't have that money unless you inherited it from someone which all again whole inheritance I'll, I'll mention that somewhere else but the best thing you can do now is within your own home try your best to escape modern comforts as much as you can like this i don't I'll, I'll bring up a picture right now if i if i have one but this whole space like near my desk used to be like there was so much stuff i would have like a plushie here then i would have uh like uh, a portrait like not a sub portrait but like a family photo up here then another photo up here then a bunch of papers up there and i'd have like a, a little nerf gun sitting there i'd have like a whole bunch of shit everywhere now it's more like accustomed to just be what i need you know this is what my setup looks like now in comparison to i'll bring a, i'll put a picture up right now in comparison to that so the best thing hold on okay the easiest solution is within your own home try to escape the comforts of modernity okay uh start planning your own and try to start planning your own uh vegetables if you have space for that or save up money to to make your own little indoor space you know how some people have like those kind of indoor gardens save up so that you can make your own and just start growing your own plants in in like in my backyard granted okay hear me out right right now i live in this like how like kind of house not really uh, matter of fact hold on I'll, I'll save this for later right i don't want to get sidetracked so you can do that with uh your vegetables and whatnot then for like what i just showed you with for example my room i would just do my best oh my you're fucking kidding me right okay 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 i thought like it said 20 percent battery left i thought it was just gonna stop my recording but basically in your own room you know just do your best to get rid of any distractions anything that you don't need only keep the stuff that you really need right soon i'm i'm gonna continue doing that actually because i'm not i still have like a ton of stuff that just serves to distract me but thing is like the more you remove yourself from modernity you're gonna find that you are more focused and you feel happier that is like i i know you think that right now you're happy like consuming as much as you are but when you like if you really recorded yourself like like for example playing video games you wouldn't look in or you you don't have a smile on your face you know what you look like <laughs> occasional exhale through the nose you're you don't look you're don't look actually happy because you're not actually happy you don't get real joy from stuff like video games from stuff like high sugar foods that's another thing eat all natural meat vegetables fruit and nuts those are like the main four things that should be in your diet that that matter of fact those are the only things that should be in your diet meat vegetables fruit and nuts that is it there there should be no no oh well i, I want some oreos now no none of that none of that you have to make sure that you're eating all natural if you really think about it it's only about benefits right because you're going to feel you're going to be able to focus more and for longer you're going to feel happier about what you're eating there's no there's no like shame in eating fruits or eating uh eating naturally you know there's no shame in that 
you're gonna get better sleep so better health overall actually we could just categorize that as better health overall and yeah that's like right all i can think of off the top of my head organize your room eat healthy sleep for more hours get off your phone what like during the day i fully shut off my phone unless like i come back to record a video or I like there's something like I have to do something specifically on my phone. I just keep it shut off the entire day. And I make sure it's in a pocket that I'm not going to reach for. Like if I have, for example, uh, I had this, this fleece, right? For my, for my school, we have uniforms during the day. There's this little pocket inside and like, look, this is the pocket. And then this is the inside pocket. I just keep my phone in this pocket the entire time. And then I put this instead. Matter like I like instead. That's like a, a you know the entry level, right? But if you want to like replace it with something else instead of just like not focus on your phone, like I you I put this where my phone would be, so that every time if I ever go to like instinctually instinctually reach for it, I pull this out instead. And I'm not I'm not gonna put it away because I mean you look stupid doing that. So, um, yeah, that's that. Don't spend as much time on your phone. Spend more time socializing. Like, just get out and talk to strangers. Go to a supermarket and just, like, or in the gym, you know, just, just find people to talk to, you know. Because now, another problem with this generation is that we close ourselves, because of technology and how easy it is to just, like, get on a computer and communicate with someone on a computer or a phone, we don't really practice socializing in real life. I mean, like, you do a, pr a presentation in school now, like, there are people who I know who are too anxious to even get up. Like, they, it is like the pinnacle of, the the peak of awkwardness, you know? And it's like, I have no doubt in my mind that that is uh, an effect of constantly being on devices, talking to people, communicating with people, but never actually being forced to make eye contact with them. I mean, like our first instinct when we have like, let's say this, let's say this is my phone, right? Our first instinct now for the majority of, of men, actually. I speak mostly to the men when I say this. Our first instinct, when we see like someone who's not even not even attractive, just the opposite gender. Our first instinct, oh. go, on the, go on the settings app. You know, go on the weather app. It's humidity's pretty high today. What are you doing? As a matter of fact, I'm kind of thirsty. But get out there and socialize, man. Every every step of the way that we incre like the thing is, is that hu humanity, what he doesn't yet understand, is that the further we advance in technology, is or like some basically something great for one thing has a major consequence on the other so okay airplanes are amazing for transportation and transporting things from point a to point b cars are also amazing boats are also amazing you know but they do so they negatively affect the environment so much and so that's the trade that advancement in travel negatively affects the environment, right? A huge advancement in something is a huge, has a huge consequence as a result. And with technology, with every advancement that is made, the consequence is on us. We are negatively affected by that. More specifically, the people who don't watch these kind of videos, the people who are not interested in the, in this kind of like self-help type of stuff, you know? 
And so, the best thing you can do, like, aside from everything else I just said, is step away from technology. Step away from everything. Not just, like, only go on stuff like YouTube if you're actually, like, intending to use it for a good purpose, right? To learn something that you haven't learned yet. To look up a book. To order, you know, to to find a library near you so you can go get it, like, read a new book, right? To just, to do something productive, you know? Not for entertainment, okay? I know the entertainment is fun, right? I'm not someone who doesn't consume entertainment at all. Obviously, like any human, I like entertainment because I get entertained. But the thing is, is that slowly, day by day, I cut more of this entertainment out of my life. I don't play video games anymore. I barely watch, like, uh, any entertainment YouTubers. I drop my screen time down by about, like, three hours. And because of that, I sleep better. I wake up and I'm happier. I appreciate that. I'm more, like, I'm more present. That's another thing, too, that not a lot of people talk about, is being present in the moment. When you're so absorbed in your own technology and you're so absorbed in your own phone, you are not present in the moment. You are not like, physically you're there, but you're not mentally there, you know? That's why if you see someone like fucking doom scrolling on their phone, and then you go, uh, you say, hey, hey, hello, excuse me. They will likely not even hear you until like the third time. Because being it, like having, it's, it's almost like putting oh, like those, uh, those like blockers on horses, you know, with, like on those race horses where because they can't run, if they get distracted, they literally have to put these like visors on their head so that they can only see linearly. That's kind of what like being constantly consumed with your phone, having like seven hours of screen time does to your brain. You, you become like so... <clears throat> not, not even focused. It's almost like imagine the racehorse... But instead, it's it's a fucking Oculus Rift. And, and they're expected to race the whole time wearing the Oculus Rift. That is literally what the phone does, what being on your phone constantly does to you. You are not present in the moment, right? And it makes it harder to concentrate on literally anything. So, I mean, yeah, that's basically about it for today's video. Uh, this is like a, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this, to be honest. Because I, like, I wanted to do this video, but the thing is, I don't do scripts for my videos, right? I never script them. I just, like, I think of an idea. I maybe, like, recite some points that I'm going to make in my head for a few minutes. And then I just come here and record because I want to put something out. So I just realized the lighting. Okay, I'm, it's not that, it's not that bad, to be honest. That would have been so much better, bro. Are you see what whatever, man? Okay. Anyway, that's basically it for this video, man. Um, you know, like I said in my like I said in my other stuff, I am I'm gonna be posting like so much of this type of content. I have so much planned for you guys. Like I have a like I think I showed you in the last one. I have a whole document full of like video ideas that I'm gonna come out with. So, just let me know, man. Uh, let me know what you guys want. Let me know what you guys want to, what, what you would like to see. And not just videos, but just like in, in content in general, you know. So, yeah, that's all for today. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.